This video is sponsored by Mercari. Oh man. Oh yeah. Looking real nice. What? Oh yeah. What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P. And today's a day I've definitely been waiting for for quite some time. You know every few months, we switch up the main PC. It's just, you know, it's just what happens on a tech channel. New hardware comes out, we upgrade. But I am super pumped to finally get my hands on an all white, super nice looking RTX 3080. This from Gigabyte, from their Vision lineup. So loving the white and the silver or the aluminum accents all around. Just one of the nicest graphics cards out there. So definitely pumped to uh, get this and add this into the build. And we also have their W480 Gigabyte Vision motherboard, which also has the nice white accents all around. So it's gonna fit in just perfectly. And obviously we're gonna have a new chipset with this motherboard. So I'll be replacing my i9-9900KS with the new i9-10900K. So some brand new hardware as we head into 2021 to not only give our PC a nice facelift visually, you know, but also a pretty nice performance boost as well. And to add to that, I'm also gonna be doing some minor mods to our Evolved X case, just again, make it fit in with the new theme a little bit more. And also, I know you guys like when I do this, but yes, we will toss it, make it kind of a mix of a vlog style, uh, because I know every now and then, it's nice to switch up the content, make it a lot less serious and more kickback and chill. So we'll throw in some vlog stuff. What is this guy doing? I need a haircut. All right, whatever. So one of the things we're gonna start off with is actually just modding our PC case because it would make more sense to then add the hardware after the mods are done. And this is my Fintex Evolve X. I've had this for probably a little over a year and a half now. And it is just one of my favorite cases. And if you think about it, over the last like two years, there really hasn't been a lot of brand new, like big milestone releases from big companies. So I'm still rocking the Evolve X like it, think it looks good. And um, one of the things I wanna change about it is it has this really nice sort of like silver aluminum panel up top and up front. So I figured to match the new hardware, why not just also make it white? I'm probably gonna butcher it, but uh, as long as it looks good on camera, doesn't matter. All right, well, that was pretty easy. And uh, by the way, these magnetic screw trays are an absolute lifesaver. Get the spray painting. All right, so I did opt to go with a semi-gloss for the white because I figured on the sort of silver aluminum panel already, it would still kind of give it that metallic sheen, I hope. Uh, nothing to lose really, right? Just a PC panel. So to my surprise, I don't know if you're gonna be able to pick it up that well on camera. I'll show you better downstairs, but this turned out pretty much exactly how I wanted it to. Uh, like I said, it still has that bit of metallic look to it, but now it's white. So hopefully this will fit in perfectly with the new PC. And uh, hey, Fantex, you should totally make some, you know, white PC cases like this, because this looks very nice. While I was in the garage, I heard FedEx drop off Two important packages. All right, so while we wait for those panels to dry, I got something very exciting for you guys that um, I'm definitely pumped to show off and reveal. And as I said in the beginning, this video is sponsored by Mercari. And Mercari is a top digital marketplace for you to buy and sell things of pretty much any kind, which is definitely great right now for the holidays, especially if you wanna buy some things for cheaper or sell some things for some extra cash. 
Like for example, just going through, you can see a PS5 copy of Spider-Man Miles Morales sold for $39 versus what, 50 on Amazon Prime? Same goes for another PS5 copy of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, sold for 52 bucks versus 70 on Amazon Prime. So what's in here? Let's find out real quick. Oh yes. So yes, I am teaming up with Mercari and we're gonna be giving away and giving a chance for you guys to win a brand new PlayStation 5 for just $5. Okay, so thankfully they sent me one, one for you guys. They are both the disc version and this is what we're gonna do. Download the Mercari app. It's for both iOS and Android and we're gonna list one of these for $2,000. But here's the catch. Obviously, we're not gonna be selling them for $2,000. That is so nobody goes on and buys it. We're giving this a chance for you guys to kind of get first dibs at this. So we're gonna list it for $2,000 on my Mercari seller page. And then after 72 hours, we're gonna drop the price to just $5. Right as that price drops, it's first come, first served. You guys can pick up a brand new PS5 for five bucks plus shipping. So make an account if you haven't already, you just sign up with a valid email. And then if you wanna get notified, all you have to do is just like the actual listing and you'll get an email when it drops. So I'll have the listing for you in the description down below so you can check it out. And it's just a great opportunity to collaborate with Mercari to give you guys an opportunity to pick up a PS5 for just $5. This really is just a great opportunity. So really pumped to uh, bring this to you guys right in time for the holidays. So I hope you dig this. All right, so as we break down the old build, again, just swapping it out, and a huge shout out to Gigabyte for supplying not only the Vision GPU with the RTX 3080 and their Vision motherboard, but they also sent out the CPU as well. So they are the man for hooking us up here with completely new hardware, definitely a nice upgrade. Also, what I didn't show was over the past few weeks, I swapped out the fans inside uh, with some Be Quiet white fans. So that way, with the RGB fan frames, it'll still look really nice and vibrant, but they're gonna run nice, cool, and quiet. And also on Black Friday, I picked up a two terabyte Adata XPG NVMe drive. So uh, it's definitely gonna give me a lot more space with some blazing speeds. But man, I'm definitely pumped to get this build underway. Some real solid upgrades here. And by the way, I know I'm gonna see comments about it, so I'll just address it now. I'm gonna use the Cooler Master Master Gel Maker. This is their own sort of performance level of a higher end uh, CPU thermal paste. And with this applicator, you're supposed to pretty much give it an entire, like two or three swipes along the whole surface area at the top of the CPU. So it's nice and even, and you wanna coat the entire top. So it might look like much, uh, but it's the recommended amount. Okay, so we're pretty much done now. Since I was just swapping out pretty much the motherboard, CPU, and graphics card, I figured it would be a pretty quick swap. Um, so I was just kind of like working my way around everything, which kind of made it longer in the end because I was like being extra careful and just, I should have just redid the whole build. Uh, but either way, we're now at the spot where I'm trying to decide whether I vertically mount the GPU or mount it normally. Um, I know obviously one of the big question marks with these vertical mounted GPUs is temperatures and how it performs over time. I know with my Strix 2080, uh, this was vertical the whole time, even the Strix before that was vertical. So I never really had issues with that, but again, this is a much more powerful graphics card. So I think to kind of just start it off, I'll probably mount it vertically so we could see the nice white and silver instead of Gigabyte and their weird decision to go this like purple strip up top. 
Uh, really don't know why they went purple there. I feel like if anything, uh, hey Gigabyte, you should maybe, it'd be really cool if you could include like some sort of vinyl strip of different colors, like a white or a silver or anything else just to put over that if we want to customize it. Cause it'd be weird to have, you know, uh, all white and black and then this real metallic purple strip sticking out right here. Uh, so I'm probably gonna vertically mount it for now. And then over the weeks, just kind of judge how we do in terms of thermals. I'll do some testing along the way. So it's the next morning now. I had to call it a night last night because it was just getting way too late. It was nearly 2 a.m. by the time I was done. And uh, with all this holiday content I've been making over the past few weeks, I was just exhausted. And it would make more sense to show you the new PC when it's, you know, natural ambient daylight instead of it being all dark. Uh, but also I was just gonna, you know, pick up where I left off and uh, just put in my new components and call it a day pretty much. But then Twitter police kind of got on me, recommended I do a complete reinstall of Windows 10. So it was like a fresh build, no driver issues. And that makes sense. So uh, last night I had to go through, manually copy all my files and stuff that I'm gonna need for the new PC. That took around an hour. And then around two hours again of going through, reinstalling Windows 10 for a complete fresh build, and then copying everything back onto the PC and downloading some of the stuff that I'm gonna need just to finish off uh, this weekend's videos. And but like I said, by the time I was done, it was 2 a.m. Uh, so we'll pick it up today. Gonna just finish waking up, finish my coffee, and then I'll go downstairs and show you the goods. And I'm talking about the PC. Okay, it's tomorrow, we back at it. And like I said before, didn't really have much time to get things properly and fully reinstalled because that would just take hours and hours. So I only have one game installed, which is the game I primarily play, as you guys know, Battlefield 5. So I'll be running that in a little bit. Uh, but for now, we should uh, install the panels back on. And I'm telling you guys, this came out just way better than I thought it would. Uh, looks really good. So let's get that installed so you could uh, get a good look at what we're working with. And the whole thing about this process is I guarantee you, in the background of videos and stuff, when I'm normally sitting over there in front of the main camera, you're probably not even gonna be able to tell that I did anything to this. It's not gonna look white, uh, it might, but it looks a lot better in person. I can already tell on camera, it probably just looks like it usually does, that silver uh, panel, but that's okay. As far as the internals and stuff, it came out really nice and clean. Um, what I did the other day was I updated and added some of those white AIO sort of covers for the actual tubing. So I have some nice white tubing on there. And I just think, you know, with all the white accents now, especially with the motherboard looking super clean and the all white GPU, it just looks really, really nice. And you know, I don't even mind that purple strip so much anymore, considering it's you know facing upward, you really can't even see it. Uh, but also, just to shout out Gengar, I have him on there, and uh, it kind of fits in a little bit. So I'm not really uh, not minding it at all. And of course, when I want, I could always just you know switch up the RGB lighting inside because with the Fantex actual case and their digital uh, lighting system, pretty much that also ties to the integrated RGB lights inside the PC plus their Fantex uh, digital halo like Lux fan frames that I have on my uh, PC fans on the inside. So it all can tie together really nicely. It syncs and I can change it all up literally with just the uh, the button on my PC case. So super simple. And I even went in and redid some of my cable management on the backside. So now it looks very clean. Uh, probably the cleanest it's ever been on that backside, even though you can't really see it. Feels good knowing it's nice and tidy. But like I said, over the next week or so, we'll continue to monitor the actual um, temperatures because I can just tell it is like super close. You probably can't see, but to the actual uh, tempered glass panel now because these RTX cards are bigger, they're thicker, so it's a lot closer. So I'll, like I said, I'll continue to monitor it 
and um, see what the temps are looking like. And we have the finishing touch to apply. I almost forgot about that. All right, so that'll pretty much do it for this portion of the PC vlog. And I will say, uh, just over the last hour or so, I did some additional testing with Battlefield, because it's the only game I currently have installed. And temperatures really weren't too bad. They were hovering just around 60 degrees Celsius for the GPU. Uh, but I did notice after about an hour of gaming, uh, it did start to creep up to closer to 70 degrees Celsius. Uh, but again, Battlefield's a pretty intensive game. So um, I guess after an hour, that would start to make sense that it would naturally just start to heat up. And thankfully, on the NZXT AIO, you can see the temperatures there real time. So that's definitely pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, I'll drop all the hardware and gear that I used in the PC down below so you can check it out. And like I said, over the next few weeks, as I reinstall more games, as I do more rendering and just more work on the PC in general to get it back to uh, what I had pretty much all my old files, games, and software, I'll do more testing and we'll see where those temperatures are. And if I have to make it horizontal again, then it doesn't really matter. We'll do it. Either way, got a really nice performance bump, and I'm definitely excited to have the new hardware as we roll into 2021. And guys, I'll wrap it up. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And lastly, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.